welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation today we are going to learn about the chomsky hierarchy i am your instructor punam patel let's start to understand this concept now first a chomsky hierarchy defines a four types of language and their associated grammars and machine so uh, chomsky hierarchy basically define the class of grammar which is we can say that four class of grammars so first type 0 grammar type 1 grammar type 2 grammar type 3 grammar now what is type 0 grammar what kind of language this grammar will uh, will uh, generate the we can say that uh, generate the language so here you can see type 0 grammar we can say that uh, generate a recursive enumerable languages type 1 context sensitive languages it generates type 2 it generates the context free and type 3 grammar it is a regular languages we can say that so here i have defined the languages four types of languages four types of grammar and based on that what kind of machine that will accept the languages respective languages so first is regular language which is known as a type 3 grammar so in chomsky hierarchy type 3 grammar means uh, regular grammar and the language which it generate it is a regular languages now regular grammar is two types of regular grammars we can define the first uh, we can say that either it is left linear grammar or right linear grammar what kind of machine will accept this regular languages we can say that for deterministic or non deterministic finite automata is a machine which accept this languages now move on to type 2 grammar which is known as a context free grammar now first uh, what kind of language it generate so the language which generate this grammar is known as a context free language and the acceptor for this language is a push down automata now move on the context sensitive languages so context sensitive languages so now uh, next is type 1 grammar which is known as a context sensitive grammar and context sensitive grammar generates the context sensitive languages and what is the acceptor of this context sensitive language linear bounded automata now last one which is known as a type 0 grammar recursively enumerable languages and uh, this is uh, and this is defined by the unrestricted we can say that this is generated by the unrestricted unrestricted grammar and the acceptor for this uh, kind of languages is a turing machine now let us take the example so here you can get the idea about so here i have defined the languages four types of languages and according to that language i have defined the different example which belongs to that languages and also define the grammar for it so what kind of production rules the given grammar should contain so here i have defined the first one regular languages so here i have defined what kind of language is considered as a like regular languages so in a previous video you have already known about the regular languages okay so here i have defined the language a is to n where n is greater than 0 so this is language is known as a regular languages now how we can define the regular grammar so here if you see i have defined two productions like a this is so here you can see the capital values like a capital a capital b i have taken this capital a b as a known terminus okay so if you see it either right hand side it contain only single terminal or if it is contain a term a non terminal so if you see a tends to a otherwise a a b now if you see this non terminal b if you see this non terminal b it comes the right hand side of terminal so this is called the right linear grammar like this so we can say that this type of grammars that we have defined over here if you see the grammar which have defined in this types in this uh, kind of production rules we can say that this is the regular grammar so why this is right linear and if we will define the left linear means the non terminal should appear first and then terminal like this it may contain the epsilon value also like this now next is we can say that type 2 grammar context free languages so the language here i have defined a is to n b is to n where n is greater than 0 now the grammar is defined for the context free language is like a tends to alpha what is the alpha what is the a so a is a single non terminal always remember the left hand side of this arrow will contain only single non terminal 
and the right hand side this alpha alpha may contain the union of non terminals which i have defined over here and union of terminals star so it may contain the empty values so otherwise it may contain the combination of terminals non terminals now next move on the now next move on the context sensitive languages so here i have defined the context sensitive language example a raised to n b raised to n c raised to n where n is greater than 0 now here i have defined the gram now here i have defined the grammar alpha beta alpha a beta is tends to so if you see gamma beta okay so if you see alpha beta y we can say that alpha beta y it is this thing this alpha beta y alpha y beta it is a combination of we can say that a combination of terminals and non terminals okay but here you can see that this alpha beta alpha beta it is also said the combination of terminals and non terminals always remember but always it contain a single always remember here it contains at least one non terminal here alpha a beta so here we can say that it is a combination of so it is a combination of terminals non terminals here also comes the combination of terminals non terminals now combination of terms now always remember the length of this left hand side left hand side for the context sensitive language the length of this left hand side term is should be less than or equal to not larger than this right hand side always remember now last one is recursive enumerable language which we can say that the acceptable machine the turing machine that we have already seen now we can say that the language which describe a terminating w where w is described the turing machine now how we can define the grammar for it what are the production rule so any combination there is no restriction on a grammar any combination of terminals non terminals can appear on the left hand side and also we can say that any combination of right hand side will appear but the condition is only this uh, this term will never be empty so there is no rest restriction like that's less than or equal to so here this is, that's why this is called the unrestricted grammar we can say that the last one unrestricted grammar the grammar that we called as a unrestricted unrestricted grammar for the recursive enumerable languages so i hope this concept is clear now as we already discussed what is the regular languages so language which is so the language which is accepted by the dfa and nfa now we can say that the language is basically generated by the regular grammar and as we already know the regular grammar what are the production rule this regular grammar what are the production rule that this regular grammar will contain like this these are the production rules like this right linear grammar where uh, epsilon is a represent a null symbol in a previous video we have already discussed about the context free grammar as we know the grammar is defined by the uh, non terminus terminus so here i have defined one grammar as you can see this grammar is contain two non terminals as a and two terminals a comma b so the production form you can see over here so this production form is known as a context free grammar so what is the production uh, what is the production rule for this context free grammar so the right hand side must contain a single non non terminal and the right hand side contain the combination of non terminal and terminals with the power of clean star it means that it is uh, any number of times uh, non terminal terminal can appear it may be contain a uh, empty strings like this so the, the language is generated by the context the language is generated by the context free grammar is known as a context free language now next is what is the context sensitive grammar so as we uh, as we have given the restrictions on the length of left hand side and right hand side in this grammar context sensitive grammar so we can say that the number of symbol on the left hand side must not number of symbol appear on the right hand side of productions 
सो द लैंग्वेज जनरेटेड बाय द कंटेक्ट सेंसिटिव ग्रामर इज नोन एज अ कंटेक्ट सेंसिटिव लैंग्वेज सिंस वी अलाउ अ मोर देन नाउ इफ यू सी इन अ कंटेक्स वी ग्रामर वी अलाउ लेफ्ट एंड साइड ओनली वन सिंगल नॉन टर्मिनल इन अ कंटेक्स सेंसिटिव लैंग्वेज वी अलाउ मोर देन वन सिंबल ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड साइड नाउ इफ यू सी वी अलाउ अ मोर देन वन सिंबल ऑन द लेफ्ट एंड साइड so we can refer to those symbol other than the one we are replacing as the context of the replacement that if we want to replace the left hand side to the right hand side we need to consider the whole context of the left hand side and then we can replace it with the uh, with the right hand side uh, productions like so we can say that the context sensitive grammar it defined generally like this this i have defined one productions like u tends to v what is u so u contain the string of terminals and non terminal which i have defined over here v so uh, the grammar here i have defined where u is define the combination of terminals and non terminals then v also define the string of terminals and non terminals but the condition for the context sensitive grammar is this the length of this is uh, define the length so the length of this thing should be a less than of the length of v so this condition make this grammar as a context sensitive grammar a raised to n b raised to n c raised to a and the grammar for this language here i have defined if you see the grammar so if you see in a context free grammar left hand side only single terminal but it is in a context sensitive grammar there are combination of terminals and non terminals can appear on the left hand side of productions so if you see like this terminal non terminals terminals non terminals like this so this is and right hand side if you see now if you check any if you check any production the length of left hand side always less than or equal to this suppose this length is 2 this length is 2 2 1 2 3 4 5 One, two, three, four. So four. So condition true. Uh, so the number of symbol of left hand side should be less than or equal to the number of symbol on the right hand side production. Okay. So this is called as a context sensitive languages. So I hope this concept is clear to you. Thank you all.